Hi, welcome to Smart Flips. My name is Mohammed. I'm an online reseller, and today's episode is going to be about DVDs. Can you see them? There is a bunch of them, a lot, a lot of them. Well, if you have seen uh, my recent videos, I've been buying uh, storage units, and I actually got um, uh, this DVDs I kind of collected over the last couple of months from different storage units. I've been just pretty much just putting them aside until I get time to actually go through them. And uh, like, you, as you can see, it is a lot of them, a lot of them. Can you take a guess? Let's see, there is four rows and... All right, try to try to guess how many, how many are in here. And I will confirm it to you in a minute. Anyway, uh, so last time I had um, a video about uh, media, the type of uh, media stuff to sell. It was the uh, VHS. Uh, those sucked. <laughs> there was like a hundred and seven or hundred of uh, hundred and ten of them, I think. Um, I probably picked about eight or ten to actually list and sell. And the rest, I just put everything in, I think, two or three boxes and put them um, on the local uh, Facebook marketplace for sale for $30 and then $20. And nobody asked about them. Nobody said anything. Nobody was interested. I mean, imagine a hundred VHS for 20 bucks and nah, 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 no. And th there was really some good titles. I mean, uh, there was uh, Scarface. There was some uh some older movies and but most of them they were like uh, 90s movies nobody cares for them nobody and honestly i, I thought about actually trying to try to put them on ebay but uh, i didn't i didn't think it was worth the time to actually deal with that stuff so um i took them to the thrift store that <laughs> that was it one week uh nobody uh, asked about them and that's it. I got rid of them. There was actually one guy who contacted me and he was like, well, if you have any uh, any title that is still sealed, uh, send me the list and I will maybe buy it from you. I was like, yeah, dude, if there is a good title, I'll be selling this on eBay myself. Uh, yeah, I was like, nah, don't worry about it. Either way. Um, so I put together this uh, bunch of DVDs. Let me give you a quick look. Uh, let me back off a little. All right, so there is a lot of movies. I'm, I'm sorry, some of them are kind of... Uh, <laughs> re, uh, I think I flipped them or something. Anyway, you can see there is a lot of titles. Uh, I like a lot of these movies. are actually very good movies that um, I watch. I think I watch most of these movies. And I'm tempted to actually keep them just so I can either rewatch them or or like drop off Netflix so I can actually take time and watch these because these are way better than anything in Netflix right now. Uh, I don't like what they have done recently. Just like, yeah, they are trying just to have like their own movies. So they don't, they're not really uh, bringing in any of the good titles anymore. Anyway. Uh, as you can see, some of these movies, they, uh, they are still sealed. They still have the plastic on. Uh, some of them are are quite old. I mean, uh, it looks like, uh, I think, the early, early 2000s, I believe. Uh, but still, um, overall, I, I'm some, some good titles. But in the resale world, <laughs> that, doesn't, <laughs> that doesn't matter. Because what I see as a good title is not necessarily a title that will sell. So what I'm going to do, just like I did with the VHS, I'm going to stop the video. I'm going to go through them. Uh, try to see if I can um, uh, find anything of value, anything I can sell for more than $10. In this case, with the DVD, with this DVDs, I'm actually pick like a couple of them and try to create a bundle. Because I believe that, um, for example, the Matrix, uh, I think I have seen... The original, the second, and the third. Yeah, I will have to look them up. I'm also thinking about maybe getting like a, a bunch of uh, action movies. I can put them together. And uh, the other thing I haven't done yet, 
which I know it's going to take a lot of time to actually do, do it too. I was going to wait until I scanned the movies to check if there are any good ones and then open the box to check. I, I, I know that I checked already a couple and they were all in there, but since they are used and they came from a storage unit, uh, you never know. Sometimes they will be misplaced, sometimes mixed up, and sometimes just empty. So I'll have to check each um, uh, each e e each of the cases to make sure uh, they're in there. I already removed um, the ones that are <laughs> illegal to sell. Well, not the black one necessarily. No, this is just part of the movies that I'm going to throw away. Okay, they're going away already. Anyway, yeah, these movies, yeah, definitely don't try to sell them. You're just going to get yourself in trouble. And, um, yes, usually I, th uh, I always actually throw them uh, to the trash. I don't even take them to a thrift store. So, uh, anyway, uh, I'm going to go ahead and stop the video for now. Uh, we'll go through them, and uh, I will see you in a bit. I'm going to show you the ones that I'm going to actually list and try to sell. All right. Hey, welcome back. Well, it took me just about, I don't know, let's say two hours, two hours and a half to go through all the DVDs. And, well, here's the result. So, this is the ones I selected to actually sell online. These are going to be sold locally. Uh, well, first, let's start with the good ones, I guess. Uh, most of these are actually brand new. They are sealed. Um, let's see. Yeah, actually, all of them are new. So, the sealed DVDs are the one that I did find to be um, kind of have any value. And even that... This is the ones that I did find to be uh, selling for ten dollars or more. Uh, these are about ten to fifteen dollars, uh, included shipping. I did look them up both on eBay and Amazon. Uh, these are actually a little bit less than uh, ten dollars, but a couple of them are kind of like a can can go in a bundle, like the Kill Bill uh, Volume One and Two. Um, which one, what is the other one I did see here? Yeah, uh, Man in Black, you see the, the one and two, and then you have this like um, Sandra Bullock movies. See, uh, it's all her, and they're all brand new, they're selling for like uh, seven to eight dollars each. This for so, <laughs> a person who like uh, like her will definitely like all her movies, so. I'm thinking something around maybe like twenty dollars free shipping. Um, it's probably gonna sell. The rest, I'm probably going to put them together like a, uh, like a like a package uh, because some of them are like the um, uh, like comedy and action or a bit a mix of both. So I can put like a small packages uh, together. The surprise one are these. Um, uh, I looked them, uh, I looked them up separately and they are selling in Amazon between $25 to $35 brand new. Both of these are sealed and I did find a couple actually listed for $105 for, for, for the set, volume one, one and two. So, uh, these two, I'm going to try to sell them in Amazon. I'm going to list them in Amazon and eBay and see what I can do with them. But uh, otherwise, this is all the stuff I'm going to be selling online. These I'm going to put as um, like a bundles and try to sell them locally. Uh, I will try the same thing I did with the VHS. I will fill up probably two or three boxes, $20 each. And oh man, I, I, see, I see some really good movies. I mean, yeah, there is the Die Hard movies. I, I've seen more than one. Uh, there is the uh, Batman. I was surprised this whole set like there is four of them and they were selling for like five dollars or four dollars plus shipping like it Yeah, that makes sense uh, a lot of the rings um, You see like these I can actually put uh, Try to like put uh, the same uh, genre of movie uh, of movies together. 
the comedy or romance or action movies i can try to set up like a one box for each and then try to um, sell them locally um, either way uh, i will list them and see oh by the way it was 264 dvds total so out of the 260 there is probably 30 that i'm gonna try to sell online and rest are are going local but uh, yeah the good thing is i didn't actually buy them separately and honestly if i ever go to like thrift store or even like garage sales i never go search for the dvds unless i see uh something sealed i may check it out but the rest yeah most of the time it's honestly not worth the uh, the headache or the resale um either way i hope this information was useful to you guys um oh yeah there is just one more thing i want to mention uh, as far as like the shipping uh what i do usually with the dvds uh, i roll them in uh, bubble wrap uh, just like one roll and put them in uh, uh the um uh, envelope uh, and um, usually the way i think usually it's a little bit less than here let's check four ounces yeah two ounces so basically uh one roll of bubble wrap and then uh put it in the envelope it should be um it should it it, it should be less than four ounces so which is pretty much the same price another trick that i like to do when it comes to dvds let me open one so hey michael jackson so before i ship a dvd um just for extra oh look this one is empty yay all right i'll have to yes I guess a good thing just the brand new one of the one i'm trying to sell uh, before shipping, what I do is uh, I will cut like a piece of uh, bubble wrap, just a, a small piece, and actually put it right in here, right in uh, inside the case before closing it, and put another another roll of um, uh, bubble wrap around it. Uh, that is, it's very helpful, like for um, for extra uh, security or safety, so it doesn't break. Uh, because the uh, they are very light packages, and they will definitely be thrown around. At the post office before they get to their final destination so um, yeah i hope this information was useful to you guys and i uh, hope you guys liked this video sorry about the blue eyes the flare thing on, on my uh, glasses here let's take them out um well yeah i hope uh, the video was useful to you and uh, you guys learned something new today um if you have any information that you would like to share or comment feel free to add them uh, to the video and uh, please like share and uh, subscribe and uh, see you guys the next time all right take care